What is up guys? You may have noticed I'm slightly bronzer than I have been. <laughs> I, for the very first time, have tried self tanning. I've been wanting to do this for so long. One, because we're in quarantine, isolated, can't really go outside, go to the pool, tan, etc. And two, because I've been really into skincare and taking care of my skin and wearing sunscreen and all that stuff. And I am so excited because I finally got to try Loving Tan. I had heard so many things about how great this product was and really wanting to try it out because even though we're in isolation, doesn't mean we can't be bronze gods and goddesses. You know, I'm gonna walk you guys through my tanning process. And like I said, this is the first time I have ever self tanned. And I gotta say, it turned out pretty dang good. I'm just saying. So the first step is to prep your skin. And by prep, I mean exfoliate and shave. Exfoliate if you already have an existing tan, obviously, but also exfoliate in your skin to get rid of any dead skin cells just so that the tan goes on nice and smooth. And you can use a scrub or you can also use a glove like this one from Loving Tan. This is the skin polishing glove. The pink side is for lighter exfoliation and the black side is a little bit more intense exfoliation. I use the black side on the bottom of my feet because my feet do get pretty rough and banged up from shuffling honestly. So I do have some blisters that I wanted to kind of get off, you know? It works really well and I noticed because I could see the dead skin coming off. I don't know, it kind of like started to clump up a little bit. And then after you exfoliate, I went ahead and shaved. I just used a little bit of conditioner. And sometimes I'll just honestly use water, shave those legs, be a naked mole rat so that we can be a tan naked mole rat. <laughs> And then after I got out of the shower, I put on a thin layer of lotion everywhere, but I really focused lotion on like my elbows, my knees, and other dry parts of my skin because that will help the tan go on smoother. So this is me before. I do have naturally olive skin tone and I do hold on to a tan pretty well, but I really haven't spent much time outside lately. So I definitely still had that winter pale er vibe going on, you know? So now that we are prepped and shaved and clean and ready, we move on to the actual tanning part. The product I am using is the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express in the shade Dark. I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to go with dark or ultra dark. Since this was the first time that I've ever self tan, I decided to go on the safe side and go with dark just in case I wanted to kind of feel it out. First thing you're going to need is an applicator mitt like this one from Loving Tan. So all you do is take a couple of pumps into your mitt and then just rub that into your skin. I started with my legs and then I just worked in circular motions to kind of buff and blend it in really, really well. Also not forgetting to get my feet. What's really great about the Loving Tan is that it has instant bronzer in it. So you can see where you're putting it and see where you need to add more product. You can already see the difference in between my two legs into which I've added the tanner and to which I haven't, which makes it so easy for a beginner like me. It was so helpful to like see where I was applying it. But then after my legs, I moved up to my tummy, made sure I rubbed it all in as best as I can. And then I moved on to the hard part, the back. This was so dang difficult. I had to contort my body in so many weird ways. I was struggling so, 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 so much. I thought my back was gonna be streaky and I just, just kind of accepted it at that point. I was like, whatever, nobody's gonna see my back. It doesn't matter. If you have someone to help you, definitely just do that. Don't even mess around with it. Just have somebody help you. But if you don't, you can do it. I promise you can do it. Just you kind of got to contort your body, try all different angles and switch hands. What I would recommend doing after having failed miserably and just kind of going at random, I would recommend getting the sides first, kind of like this, and then do one of these like reach around things. Go like that. Like I was just like haphazardly doing it and you can see like it looks so streaky when I was recording and I was like, this is going to be... Terrible, I missed it, but just you wait. After I sort of kind of got my back, I went onto my arms, starting with the top of my arms and then rubbing the remainder on the bottom. Kind of because if you think about it, the top of your arms are always gonna be more tan than the underside. And when I was rubbing my arms, I kind of missed like half of my arm. 
and you can kind of see I have messed it up a little bit but honestly it doesn't bother me that much I think it's fine <laughs> a trick I learned for your hands from Whitney Simmons was to just take a little bit on your forearms and then rub the remainder down to your hand after that I went on to my chest working it all the way up my neck um, not on my face, but just up my neck and like the bottom of my jaw. And another thing to not forget is your armpits. All right, just a little bit, just go rub a dub dub, rub a dub dub. Okay. Really, you just want to make sure you get everywhere that could possibly see sunlight. You know. So you can self tan your face, I believe, with self tanner. But if you have sensitive skin or you're prone to breakouts like me, I would opt for something that's like actually meant for your face, like the Loving Tan Gradual Face Tan, because it has a ton of like nourishing ingredients like acai berry and pomegranate and aloe and green tea. So this is a lot less likely to like irritate your skin or clog your pores. And all you do is you rub it into your fingertips. You can also use a makeup brush and just apply it onto your face in circular motions, making sure it's all well blended and making sure it's blended into your hairline too. And then this only stays on for two hours. After my two hours were up, I hopped in the shower, rinsed it all off, and came out a bronze goddess. I am so happy with how the tan turned out. You can see my back, even though I thought it was gonna be totally streaky and horrible and a bunch of missed spots, it came out so nice. You just need to make sure you cover everywhere and it will turn out So I missed a spot like on my ankle so like my ankle's a little pale But that's user error. That's not the product's fault. That's me being a noob Like I said, I tan super easily So that means I always like I swear I always have like the most awkward tan lines Like I have a permanent shorts tan line no matter if it's winter or summer so what I decided to do last night actually was take the regular deluxe bronzing mousse and I applied it a little to my upper thighs to kind of even out my skin tone and make sure that my leg is all one color because you know obviously if you t apply tan to your skin the tanner part is still going to get tanner and the paler part's going to get tanner but they're going to be still different colors. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm explaining that well. And it actually turned out really well. Like now my leg is actually all one color. So that is something I would recommend doing is if you have like parts you want to darken up to even out with the rest of your skin tone, just do that part of your skin. It doesn't look streaky or it doesn't look mismatched. I think it blends great. If you've never faked tan before, I would definitely recommend trying this out. So user friendly, especially if you're a beginner. One thing I will say though, is that I think next time I might go for the ultra dark now that I know kind of how to do it. Just to be a little bit darker is all. I think that the dark gave me a nice golden glow. The ultra dark would just give me that extra mm. But I would say that the dark is great for someone with fairer skin or for somebody that just wants a nice little boost of bronze. But that being said, I'm obsessed with this. I'm definitely gonna be using this again. The tan lasts about like 10 days. You wanna make sure that you moisturize to make sure that it lasts. It says to avoid excessive sweating, but I have been shuffling quite a bit. Everything seems good so far, so. Cause you know we're getting sweaty when we're shuffling. And then also they have a bronze shimmer. And this is just kind of give you a nice little extra glow and sparkle this would be like great to apply like right before going out or something even though nobody's really going out right now but still it's great to have for when we can go out again and mm, 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 dance if you guys want to be bronze glowing gods and goddesses check out loving tan oh so obsessed if you use the code emily mitt you can get a free applicator mitt with your purchase of the gradual tan or mousse i'll also put a link to their website and the code down below that is it i hope you guys get your tan on stay sun safe it's a great way to feel like it's summer even though we're stuck inside i love each and every one of you so much